Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back to Coastal Living. And with us now, we have two amazing guests from the Nueces County Juvenile Justice Center to talk about a very special program. Please welcome Becky Mohat and Michael Francis. How are y'all doing today? Great. Wonderful, Good. wonderful. So tell me, what, uh, tell me about this program. Well, uh, the name of the program is Uninked and Set Free. Okay. And we came up with that name because we have kids in our community um, who've been incarcerated, who have been trafficked, and they have visible tattoos mm -hmm. that hold them back. Um, many employers will not hire you if you have visible tattoos. Mm -hmm. So the name was really perfect because we're able to remove those tattoos and set them free from those things that, that hold them back. Uh, we're launching that program today. Wonderful. We're uh, having a ribbon cutting over at the uh, detention center and we're gonna start that program. So we're really excited. Yes, that sounds very exciting. And the first time you're on the show, the program wasn't fully funded. Right. Right, so now that you have secured funding, what does that mean for you all? Well, it means everything because we can do what, uh, you know, our mission says to remove those visible marks that hold at-risk kids uh, from being successful. Wonderful. So, yeah, it's, it's real exciting. Yes, it is. And Michael, tell me a little bit about your history. Well, I was, uh, you know, grew up in New York, Brooklyn, actually, and I was a, a maid member, a, a captain in the uh, Colombo crime family back then. My dad was the underboss of the family at one time. And so, you know, prison has been part of my life. I've either been in prison or visiting prisons my entire life. My dad did 40 years, I did eight years myself, and now I've been visiting jails for the past several years trying to, you know, impart some knowledge and, and give some encouragement and hope to uh, these young people. And uh, several years back, you know, I discovered with these gangbangers that, you know, put tattoos all over their body that when they do come home and try to turn their life around, uh, it's a problem. People don't want to hire them. So. Came up with this program. Uh, last time I visited Becky, she uh, really took to it and thought it was, you know, some way to help uh, the young people that she always, uh, you know, tries to encourage. And now uh, she went out and, you know, created this program here and it's got amazing. it funded. And it's, it's amazing how quickly she did it. She yes. did it faster than I did. Absolutely. Uh, it was amazing. And what is your role in this program? You know, just to support it. You know, we're going to the jail today to speak to these young people, give them some encouragement and hope. Um, you know, lead them to the program if they need that help when they get out. And I just do this around the country, actually around the world, you know, just yeah. try to support programs like this because they're really vital and they're necessary. It is absolutely vital and this is an amazing thing that y'all are doing. And speaking of amazing, I want to talk about this book here. It's um, the, I see it's the Blood Covenant. Right. Right. So let's expand a little bit more on that. Well, it's my life story, you know, and I've actually had two blood covenants in my life. When wow. you, um, you know, when you take the oath and become a made member of that life, it is a blood oath that you take. And, you know, I'm a person of faith now, and, uh, you know, God has directed my life, and that's a, a second covenant that I've made through, uh, through Jesus Christ. So um, that's the title of the book, and it's, uh, you know, if you want to read a mob story, it's a mob story. Amen. It's that's also a story, story a, a love story, because it was my wife, a young woman, uh, that led me out of that life and led me to my faith and we're married 34 years now. She saved my life. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, hopefully the book captures that and it's been around a while. They're making a movie out of it now. So wow. a lot that of good things incredible. happening. An yeah. incredible story. And how did you two um, meet in, path, in, in each other's paths? Well, I, uh, we did, a, our organization uh, had an event last March uh, called Courageous. And uh, we brought Michael in for the very reason he just said, uh, kids need to relate. When you're talking to them, if you haven't walked in their shoes, mm -hmm. they don't feel like you get it. Michael has walked in their shoes and more. So he will talk to them about, you know, what all the things that has happened to him in his life and that it's possible to change your life. It you is. can turn that around and you can be successful. I love when he says, you couldn't have possibly done what I've done. And I, I'm a very successful person. So it just gives them hope. So we reached out and uh, it was a wonderful weekend and he really had a huge impact on the kids. Wow, that's wonderful. Your story is very inspiring and I cannot wait to read this book. I have to ask, do you have any events coming up this weekend? Uh, the tattoo removal uh, 
ribbon cutting. Yeah. Michael flew in because I, I felt like he needed to be here for that event. Absolutely, um, yes ma'am. I was so excited when I saw on his website that he does tattoo removal back when he came for the Courageous event. And we had already been thinking about doing that and trying to raise some money. So he's, he's helped us, you know, guide it along and uh, help us, he helped us choose the right machine. And yeah, so it was only proper that he be here to help cut the ribbon. That's amazing. So well, from four to six over at the Juvenile Detention Center. Thank you. It's open to the public, 2310 Kalahar Road and everyone's welcome to come. Thank you for reiterating that. We have the information on the screen and thank you both for coming in today. Thank you for sharing your amazing story and Becky, thank you for everything that you do around the community. Oh, thank you.